Hello students, welcome to the new academic session 2020-21. My name is Mrs. Kamaljeet Rohewal and I will be conducting the next few classes in geography. The name of the first chapter is Earth as a Planet and I will be discussing the various theories that prove that the Earth is spherical in shape. Earth is one of the eight planets revolving around the Sun. The chief members of the solar system are the planets, the satellites that revolve around the planets, asteroids, comets and meteorites. The planets in order of their distance from the Sun are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Here is the solar system showing the Earth's position. From space, the Earth looks blue because 71% of its total area is covered by water. In the olden days, it was believed that the Earth was flat, so the sailors were afraid of travelling to far off places, thinking that they would slip into the bottomless ocean from the edge of the Earth. Aryabhatta, the 5th century Indian astronomer and mathematician, believed in the round shape of the Earth. Pythagoras, the Greek philosopher said the same thing. Now to prove that the earth is spherical in shape. Proof number one, sighting of a ship. If one looks at a ship from a distance, the top of the ship is seen first of all and as the ship comes closer, its lower part starts coming into view, as you can see in the diagram given below. Had the earth been flat, the whole ship would have been visible at the same time. Proof number two, the Bedford level experiment. Three poles of equal length were fixed in the Bedford Canal in England at a distance of five kilometers from each other. All the poles had the same height above the water. When these poles were observed from one end of the canal, the middle pole looked slightly higher as you can see in figure one. This confirmed the spherical shape of the earth. Proof number three, the pole star. The pole star can be seen at an angle of 90 degrees at the north pole. It lies in line with the axis of the earth and its angle decreases towards the equator. At the equator, the angle is zero degrees. If the earth were flat, the pole star would have made an angle of 90 degrees from all the latitudes. Proof number four, satellite pictures. Today, satellite pictures taken from space have proved that the Earth is spherical in shape. Proof number five, lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth comes between the sun and the moon, blocking the sunlight falling on the moon. Earth's shadow covers all or a part of the lunar surface. The shadow of the earth on the surface of the moon occurs as an arc of a circle. This proves the earth's spherical shape. It is very clear from the image shown below. Proof number six, circular horizon. The horizon is an imaginary line where the sky and the earth appear to be meeting. This circular horizon widens with increase in height, proving the earth to be spherical in shape. If the earth's surface had been flat, the horizon would have been the same, irrespective of height. Proof number seven, circumnavigation. Circumnavigation refers to the act of traveling all around the world. Magellan's ship completed a round the world voyage. His ship returned to the same place from where it had started, that is Spain. It proved that the earth was spherical in shape. Proof number eight, sunrise and sunset. Sunrise and sunset occur at different times at different places. This is because the earth rotates from west to east and people in the east can see the sun earlier than those in the west. Had the earth been flat, sunrise and sunset would have occurred at the same time all over the world. Proof number nine, the earth as a heavenly body. 
All planets in the solar system are spherical in shape. So the earth, being a member of the solar system, cannot be an exception. So the earth is also spherical. I conclude my presentation here. I will end by saying that prevention is better than cure. So during this lockdown, stay indoors, stay healthy and stay safe. Thank you and have a wonderful day.